Welcome into Fox 16 Sports. Arkansas is at home on Saturday playing Ole Miss at 2.30 p.m. If you'll be at home watching the game, some news you should know. There's a TV schedule change, so let's make sure you're not fiddling with the remote, flipping through channels, and instead actually catch the game on time. The SEC announced today that the Hogs will play the Rebels on SEC Network, no longer on ESPN2. So, if you already had it recorded, make sure to check on your TV guide. Arkansas has the chance to bounce back from last week's nail-biter loss to Auburn and make some history. The Hogs can snap their SEC losing streak at Razorback Stadium. That record currently sits at 10. Arkansas's last conference home win was over Florida in 2016. But Sam Pittman is just focused on adding to the win call. Winning would be uh, incredible. I mean, that's what we all go out there and strive to do every Saturday. But uh, I don't know if breaking streaks are any kind of a big deal for us. We just we just trying to win football games. Arkansas might not have an NFL team, but this week we'll have some Thursday night football. A-State hosts Georgia State tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. The Red Wolves come off a 50-27 win over UCA. A lot of splashy plays there in the rain last Saturday, but it was against an FCS opponent. After their loss to Coastal Carolina a couple weeks ago, A-State is 0-1 in conference play. To win Thursday means getting back on track in Sunbelt. So, could how they played against UCA be enough to top Georgia State? I don't know that we played well enough to beat a conference opponent. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. I just know we made a lot of mistakes. And so that's the focus this week and a short week against a good opponent. Georgia State presents some challenges. And, and ultimately, if we want to compete in the Sun Belt Conference for a championship, this is a must win. We can't dig ourselves a two, two game hole. And our guys are fully aware of that. So. Thursday night, we'll see if, if we've improved and we're able to. Uh, UCA has now dropped two straight games at A State and at FCS champ North Dakota State. On Saturday, the Bears will travel to Missouri State, whom they played and beat a few weeks ago in Conway. UCA has had a tough stretch recently, but according to Nathan Brown, that's no excuse for being two and three in the season. Yeah, I thought Arkansas State handled the elements a little better than us. Again, it was windy, it was rainy, it was it was a tough environment. We didn't play. Uh, you know, our caliber of football and, uh, you know, we're looking to avenge that loss moving forward. I feel like we're better than a two and three football team right now. I think we've got way more talent than that shows. Um, but again, the reality that we're in is that I'm a two and three head football coach. Um, but our guys are looking forward to this opportunity playing a team like Missouri State close enough to home to where some of our fans can get there and see us play. It's that time where I zip it and let players' talent do the speaking for me. Check out the top moments we captured from last week in Arkansas high school football.